and welcome back to another video. If you're new here today, then hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us today on this different seasonal nail. We are now moving into Christmas. I know it's early, but you've got to be early when you're doing nails and any other crafting activity. This isn't a craft channel, but it kind of is, it's art. So in a way, it makes sense. You've got to start early. So today we are going to do a little winter wonderland street kind of vibe. That's what I'm envisioning for this video. It's going to be a cute little street, snowy scenes, very like cozy, like, you know, when you're just a nice evening stroll down the street. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you do like this set, please do leave it a like also. All of those things definitely help the channel out. With all that said, let's get on and do these Christmas themed nails. Okay, so starting off, I filed and buffed the nails out and now we can begin on the first nail. So first of all, I'm going in with this sheer pink color from the Beatles gel polish range and I'm just gonna place it about here on the nail and higher than that. So we don't wanna go any lower than that because this is for the sky. So I'm just going to fill in the top section of the nail and then cure it for 60 seconds. I've done all of the other nails and now we can get back on to the first nail and onto the second colour. So with this one I'm going in with a blue, also quite a sheer colour, and do the same thing but a little higher up. I also want to add in now that I'm not sponsored by Beatles Gel Polish Range, I have brought these products myself. So. At this point, we're now gonna go in with a sponge and just blend that out ever so slightly. And I've done the same for all the other nails and cured them too. And at this point now, I've gone ahead and used some double-sided sticky tape and stuck them to my palette. Um, just because they're gonna be a scene all linked together and it's just much easier when they are staying perfectly st side by side. So now I'm going in and sketching out the scene across all of the nails. So all of the rooftops and then the rest of the buildings below. So at this point, if you make a mistake, you can wipe it away straight away. So only cure when, once you're definitely sure you've got it right. So don't go curing <laughs> if you're not 100% sure that you've got the, um, the level right. And by level, I mean, you know, the sidewalks in there and the people are to scale. So it could be a little bit, you know, but as long as you've got everything to scale, everything's fine. So now we're going in and doing the fun part, actually colouring in all of these houses and shops and making it all come to life. This is always my favourite part to do. So just going in with the right colours and just filling in all those areas that need it. So I'm going to be doing little reefs, so you see those circles on the middle nails. Uh, those are actually going to be some um, Christmas reefs on the shop's front, so just to make it a little bit more Christmassy and cute. And once I had gone and done that, now we can go in and do a tiny bit of detailing work and I'm going to add the brick effect onto the front of the house and just using a really teeny tiny detailing brush and doing some lines and then uh, I like to turn uh, the nail uh, slightly sideways just so you can kind of get it straight um, at this point here. See, I turn it to the side and then you can go ahead and do the lines in the other way. Obviously, if you're doing this on an actual client, it might be an awkward angle. So just be, um, 
mindful of how you're always turning uh, your clients hands um, and that you're not hurting them in any way so of course whatever works best for you um, to make the nails look better but always be mindful um, of what position <laughs> you're putting them in this isn't a game of twister <laughs> So now going in with red and this is kind of, um, I think the right word is facias on a building, I think. I might be wrong, I'm not a builder. Um, so I'm doing the facias off the building um, with a dotting tool only because I wanted them to have that kind of scalloped um, edging to them. And then just linking them up and then putting snow on top of that. Don't worry if the video is jumping along. You will see me do the snow and much more detailing uh, on the next now. I'm just getting these two first ones done just so that you can kind of see what's going on in the picture. <laughs> So I'm just adding the detailings of the building now. This is coming out a little bit more black on camera, but it was more of a dark green. Um, so that's that. <laughs> so everywhere I'm putting this uh, black or dark green, there will be snow on top of it. So keep that in mind um, to leave a little bit of space to be able to put a little layer of snow on top of it and even on the um, ledges of the windowsills and in the uh, corners of the windows too. And like so, those are the buildings done. As I said a minute ago, don't worry if you're wanting to see a little bit more detail and work, I will definitely do it on the next nail and you'll see more of that snow being put on. So I've done snow on the pathway and this is supposed to be like a little road, but it's really icy. So we're getting um, the light and dark reflects going on and I'm adding the dark to areas where the windows aren't quite lighting it up. So more on the sides and a little bit in the middle um, and just kind of like, you know, just to give it a little bit more depth and you know all that good stuff so as you can see now i'm adding in some yellow from the reflect of the windows and i definitely think that gives it a little bit more interest at the bottom of the nail okay so now we can finish the last bit which is the other side of the uh, very tiny road um, and i'm just putting some snow <laughs> down I'm doing quotation fingers I'm putting snow down <laughs> it's white gel polish but it's snow <laughs> it's snow really so yeah I'm just adding depth to that too so just here and there just picking up a little bit of that blue and just spackling it through the snow just a tiny bit so here I'm going in and adding some people looking in on the window. So that was his head and now we're bringing down his back here. So this is his body and there's his arm to his side. And then he's kind of wearing a long coat, a long trench coat and doing his arm there and his little teeny tiny little legs poking out from the bottom of his coat. And it just brings the whole scene alive when there's people on the nails too. And here's another little pair of teeny tiny little legs. And this is going to be a little child holding on to his dad's hand, wearing a little mustard colored coat. It's not showing up super well on camera, but it is definitely there. And he's got a little light blue um, bobble hat on. And then on the other side is the mum with her long skinny legs and she is going to be wearing a purple coat. And they are all holding hands looking in the window. And there we have it. So now going on, we are just putting the base colours down again. Um, it's definitely with this one, you have to trust the process. To begin with, they look super, super plain 
and like what have I done <laughs> but you've just got to trust the process and start adding those details layer by layer it's all about layering and um, working through it with these type of nails like you have to work from the back and bring it forward because otherwise it would just be a kerfuffle you would just I would get confused so that's just how I like to work so that's just me this is how I do it so there we are it's looking a bit like hmm so we've got to turn this into that hmm <laughs> See what I mean? It looks a little bit okay. Mm -hmm, that looks nice, <laughs> but you got to work on it, build on it. So we're doing the same thing. We're doing the um, what do we call these parts? These aren't fascias. Ah, oh, they're on like those really like um, kind of Tudorish houses. Um, beams? Would you call them beams? I don't know. Or maybe those are fascias. I I don't know, but we're doing the <laughs> we're doing the detailing. We're getting there. So, I've done all of that. I've put the snow on top, and the snow is literally as easy as just dragging a little little line down, and it's effective. It works. You know, I think it's possible. I think it looks like snow, and it's literally just that. You do the snow on top, just a whoop whoop over the roof, and then just drag them down and again with the windows I just do little dots in each square and then in the corners I do a kind of an arrow point um, and that seems to work out just fine so <laughs> that's how I do the snow and you've just got to keep in mind uh, you've got to think like snow put yourself in the snow's body where would you go if you were snow okay <laughs> So you'd be on top of this window ledge, wouldn't you? Absolutely, of course you would. But then you'd kind of scoop up in the sides here too, in between those uh, wooden bits. Think like snow. <laughs> and then also you'd kind of drip down a little bit too, maybe a couple of icicles. You don't know, because you're snow. And on this little wooden bit here too, you would gather up on that. So you just got to, you know, Think like snow and kind of go wild because snow gets everywhere. So, you know, there's never too much. So, you know, just let it snow. Let it snow. Go go wild. Put the snow everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting in a final few touches here. And now we're going in and putting some Christmas decorations up. I absolutely love it. So this is gonna be kind of a Christmas garland across the front of the shop. And there's going to be um, some red bows in between each point where it goes up. So obviously right here, uh, a nice big red bow and then doing the ribbons coming down also and do that exact same thing. So a little dot in the middle, drag it out to the sides and then two little strings down at the bottom. And then one last one just here, a dot in the middle, bring it out to the sides and then two little strings hanging down. And then I went ahead and cured that because we're now putting snow on top. You've got to cure it at this point um, because it will just blend together. So always remember when you feel like the right time to cure is. Um, because as I said, if you've made a mistake, it's a little bit harder to correct it if it's cured. But you don't want to not cure and then go ahead and it all blends together. So that is that nail complete. I'm going to do the other one off camera. And there they all are together. 
And that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy today's video, again, please do leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below. I really do love reading all of your comments and getting back to you. I read every single message. I love hearing from you guys. Honestly, we're just one happy nail family. So as I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed already, already? Oh, really? <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing so. I upload every week without fail. So join the Starlet Gang and be a Nova Star today. And I'll see you on the next video. Happy creating. Bye.